WA's public sector unions have ramped up a campaign for pay rises of 4% a year, flagging industrial action. The business sector says any such increase is too high and will do irreparable harm to the state budget. Teachers, hospital workers, firefighters, prison officers and others came together in Perth's Town Hall to send a message to the government. At the gathering of union members today is really to highlight to government that public sector pay has been going backwards for too long. It's been failing to keep pace with the increasing costs of living. Unions want 4% a year for the next two years, or a flat $2,500, whichever is greater. They say productivity has gone up, there are skill shortages across the sector, and in terms of further action, nothing is off the table. What they need is real bargaining and real wages growth. Wages growth that helps them put food on the table and that keeps them in their jobs. It's critical that the government delivers on this. In a statement, the Industrial Relations Minister says the review of the wages policy is underway. Submissions have been received from unions, Unions WA and the WA Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The Chamber of Commerce has called for restraint. It says while the state budget might be healthy now, that won't necessarily last. This is a budget wrecking proposal that will cost the budget billions of dollars and wreck the state's finances for years to come. Mr Morey says owners and operators of small and medium businesses expect tax revenue to be spent wisely. Unions say they want a decision from the government soon. David Webber, ABC News.